everyone, and welcome to Zoo Bites. This is a short, informational, and entertaining video series created to share some of the amazing knowledge we have gathered about the world we share. It is my great pleasure and joy as Zookeeper Siri to be able to tell you about the fantastic flora, amazing animals, and stunning discoveries that are waiting for us all out there in the planet that we all share together. I am so excited to finally bring you this series. It has always been my purpose, motivation, and goal with everything that we do on our channel to be able to share some of the amazing natural facts that about the real life plants and animals in our world. This place is stunning, it's amazing, I can't wait to share all of this information with you. New information is constantly coming out from the scientific community. As someone who has professionally studied biology in university, I am privy to a lot of the awesome science articles that many of you guys probably don't see. You probably don't know about most of the stunning studies that are being done on mantas, on, on all of the amazing prehistoric life, the dinosaur bones we're constantly digging up, the new research coming out about coral reefs, about amphibian skin, about cancer research done on rainforest plants. And so what we're going to do here is boil that amazing knowledge down into some easy to handle, wonderful zoo bites. We're going to be learning about mysterious creatures whose adaptations to survive in our world are absolutely stunning, but you've probably never heard of them before. And we're going to be celebrating our passion for curiosity curiosity and discovery as we talk about all of the new research coming out from the scientific community. We talk about some of the ancient prehistoric animals, some of the amazing hidden creatures that might be right outside your front door and you don't even know about yet. I'm very, very excited to share all of this with you and I am looking forward to all of our amazing Zoobites. All right, everyone. So let's get started by showing off the amazing research outposts that we have here. All right, everyone, come on in. Welcome to the Zoobites Research Outpost, the studios from which we'll be hosting our Zoobite series, when we are not off diving into the wilds for field research, that is. From our Zoobites Research Center, we will work hard to study the natural world around us and interpret the scientific studies being produced by hardworking scientists, biologists, ecologists, paleontologists, and every other ologist you can think of out there in our world today. We will also try to answer some of your questions about nature, biology, evolution, and animal animal quirks, by which of course we need questions to answer. So send us some of your questions by leaving comments in the video below, ask why cows have four stomachs, why your cat sleeps all day, what the largest species of rabbit to ever walk the earth was, how intelligent an octopus is, why birds build the most complicated nest. The world is full of wonders and we will start discovering them by asking the right questions. Curiosity is a wonderful gift and we love nurturing it, so ask away! And to celebrate the nature of curiosity and adventure and learning more about the natural world, we have an announcement to make. Some time ago, we celebrated our 7,000 subscriber milestone by doing a knowledge-based giveaway of a year subscription to National Geographic magazine. And now we've already hit 8,000 members of our community before we even had a chance to do the first giveaway, celebrating 7,000 curious minds. So to celebrate the launching of Zoobites and the growth of our community, we're doing a double giveaway! <sighs> Not one, but two year-long subscriptions are going out to those who applied for the giveaway. So congratulations to Joseph Lopez and Darcy Westbrook. I will be sending you both personal messages through YouTube to get your contact information so that we can send your National Geographic Kids subscription and a thank you letter from me over to your homes as soon as possible. It is always so exciting to be able to share such awesome educational resources like National Geographic Magazine with everyone. I grew up reading Nat Geo and Ranger Rick, and I hope by sharing the magazines we can spread a little more curiosity and discovery among our community. In the future, we will be doing quick glances at articles that you can find in those kinds of magazines or other nature and science oriented websites and communities so that we can learn even more about the amazing and thanks to the internet often completely free resources that we all have to access to discover more of what is going on in the world and science today. For now though, we're going to celebrate a very special day. Not only is this the first launching of our Zoobite series, but it is also International Rabbit Day! Years ago, a rabbit charity in the UK established International Rabbit Day in order to spread knowledge about pet and wild rabbits to the public. And so we are going to celebrate as well by munching on some carrots and learning about some of these adorable lagomorphs. And we'll be focusing on the rarest lagomorph of all, the Sumatran Striped Rabbit. 
The Sumatran striped rabbit is said to be the rarest rabbit in the world. No one has seen or studied a living Sumatran striped rabbit in recent history. In fact, we only know that they still exist thanks to a handful of rare photographs captured by camera traps and set up by scientists. In the past two decades, only a handful of pictures have been captured of this rare, lovely rabbit species. No one truly knows how many of the Sumatran striped rabbits may exist in the wild or what their population numbers are like. Part of the reason we know so little about the Sumatran striped rabbit is due to where it lives. The island of Sumatra is located in western Indonesia. It is the sixth largest island in the world and sits right on top of the equator, with several active volcanoes forming the backbone of this vast island. The forests of Sumatra are tropical, hot and humid, a mix of jagged volcanic mountain ranges and l swampy lowlands filled with mangroves and winding rivers. Many amazing creatures share these lush rainforests, including endangered animals much larger than this endangered rabbit. We may be keeping our eyes out for the tiny rabbit, but while we are looking we are likely to see tigers, monkeys, sun bears, elephants, and even the very rare clouded leopard stalking these same forests. Given the sheer size of the island and its tropical rainforest, not to mention the heat, the bugs, and the dangerous predators that roam in the shadows, it has been very difficult for researchers to get into the forest to better study such a small animal as the Sumatran striped rabbit. Not to mention getting funding for such expeditions, especially when there are larger, more photogenic and popular creatures such as the clouded leopard also on this threatened island. Well, getting the funding to study a bunny compared to a clouded leopard can be nearly impossible. Researchers used to think that the Sumatran striped rabbit was nocturnal, but wildlife cameras have caught the rabbit feeding during the day and have since altered this assumption. It is also thought that the rabbit used to live exclusively at high elevations in the mountains, but locals have reported sightings in logged forests at the base of the mountains in recent years. This is, without a doubt, the rarest rabbit in the world, and we still know next to nothing about it. Unfortunately, at the rate of deforestation of its native island, it may dis disappear without a trace before we have a chance to learn anything about this unique creature or its native habits. Researchers know almost nothing about how it eats, breeds, or lives, but they can all agree that the health of this rabbit species is tied to the health of the Indonesia forest. And since the 1970s, over 90% of these forests have vanished to logging and mining industries, threatening not just the Sumatran striped rabbit, but all the unique animals, plants, and native people who inhabit this amazing jungle island. It is hoped that by raising awareness about this virtually unknown endangered rabbit, we will help push publicity and interest in conservation efforts to study and hopefully save not only the Sumatran striped rabbit, but dozens of species in the Sumatran forest. We often say that there are few places left in the world to discover, but the Sumatran striped rabbit's mysterious existence shows us there are more discoveries out there waiting for us if we can just keep the forest lo alive long enough to make those discoveries. All right, everyone, and that is it for our very first episode of Zoo Bites, where you can get a bite-sized bit of knowledge about the natural world. I hope you guys enjoyed learning about the Sumatran striped rabbit, the rarest lagomorph on the planet, and you're looking forward to learning some more in our next episode as we tackle some of the unknown, mysterious, and amazing creatures and scientific discoveries of our day. I will see you guys next time, and remember, stay curious!